Hey, boys and New video on uh, some book review. Kind of a uh, three part. Again, I cannot do just one part. It's I just love to listen to myself too much. But uh, the first part will be uh, book reviews on religious medicine books that I think are, are interesting and that I, I choose. Uh, the second one is going to be wilderness rescue. But uh, not like big rescue with uh, uh, obviously like technical rescue because at that point obviously you need training and even if I recommend some books it's just to give you an overview um, and we'll talk a little bit of the sum of the course that could be interesting even for people that don't climb and don't do any glacier travel or anything but spend some time in the mountains or near water uh, you should still get trained in some basics knots and some basic uh, rescue and the third one will be uh, books uh, worth mentioning <coughs> uh, excuse me so yeah so basically just uh, a few books here and there and let's get started books I recommend for medicine there's three of them that I use a lot for my YouTube's uh, preparation, and I'll show you. And it kind of comes in different uh, prices and stuff. Uh, some link I'll put under. Uh, some of them you can download for free, and some of those you can get for not too expensive. We'll start with the well. A lot of people consider it kind of the Bible. Uh, it's called the Field Guide. Field Guide to Wilderness Medicine by Paul L. Hartbarch, I think, and Eric A. West and Howard G. Donner. Basically, those three guys are pretty much the three. They're basically the uh, Mark Kowalski and Condine um, of Wilderness Medicine. They did it. They saw it. They they go in Nepal pretty much almost all the time. They they give course all around the world. They do a lot of wilderness. Uh, this version here, you can buy like the big book. It's about like five hundred bucks. But this version here is almost like the I would say like the pocket size, and it's about uh, I think forty to fifty dollars. Um, and uh, uh, so it pretty much I don't know how much because I never bought the other one because like it's like 500 bucks maybe one day as a Christmas gift or something I'll ask for it but um, uh, yeah it pretty much covers a lot of material um, you have some very graphic pictures that are uh, some good black and white as well some some good black and white designs on things. We talk about those uh, anyway, everything. And uh, the content, the content table. It's uh, it's pretty extensive. So high altitude medicine, avalanche safety and rescue, hyperdox, uh, chest trauma, uh, blister. So basically, it goes from the little one to all the big ones. And this is just with the first page. And there's another. Uh, there's about there's three pages of content so uh, as you can see basically they cover almost everything that you can think of uh, malaria infectious disease and this is a big appendix uh, at the end where you have like um, uh, nuts nuts that you should should know about uh, yeah so it's a very extensive one uh, if you have one book to buy on wilderness medicine, I would buy this one. It's not very expensive uh, for the price and for the content it is. There's a lot of tricks on improvising stuff and everything, and it covers pretty much everything. Uh, and they turn, so this is the third edition, and they always change it and update it as much as they can. So it's, it's a very good book to have. 
The second one is uh, this one, and if you ever had the uh, uh, wilderness medical, uh, wilderness, um, those uh, adventure medical kits, uh, first aid, uh, a lot of them are inside, but you can buy also just the book. So if you make your own, if you're kind of making your own uh, first aid kit, uh, you can buy the book. I think it's about ten, fifteen dollars. Those is just because I bought a few kits and stuff. They're, as you can see, very, very small, and that's one advantage because now you can carry versus. Right, it's kind of a little bit bigger, um, but this one too, very good. Uh, not as much, there are no color pictures, but a lot of. Um, uh, kind of goes through almost everything that uh, the other one goes, but as well, this the cool thing with this one is the so the topic that he does. He's big on improvisation, and so I, I went to a talk one time and he showed like uh, um, how to improvise pretty much everything that you don't need in your first aid kit. The thing that was a thousand use of uh, duct tape for medical purpose. And it was unbelievable things you could improvise with. And uh, so he, uh, there's a lot of the stuff that he recommends is like uh, improvised techniques which are great for uh, survival because we're a lot of about improvisation a lot of time because we don't have the gear or anything like this. So uh, that's the cool thing and um, it's small easy read it's very good um, don't not too too bad into like detail or pretty much almost everything uh, the third one <coughs> sorry uh, the third one here is uh, there was a few reviews on that one and it's called where there is no doctor a village here handbook basically this thing is the doctor, uh, David Werner, uh, used to do a lot of South America kind of stuff. And um, uh, what he wanted to do was basically those uh, village that don't have any medical, well, village where there's no doctors and everything. He wanted to write a little something for them so that they could understand uh, basic uh, medical care and help them. And so the book is very old. Uh, that one is like a no copy that I got, but uh, you can as well. The, the the advantage of it is you can download it. I think for free. So I think I'll I'll put the link down. But you can uh, get it pretty much for free, and if when you buy it, it's pretty much almost doesn't cost any much just for paper. Um, but the image, yeah, obviously, there's no color image. It's all kind of black. Uh, the information is very relevant and for example one thing that is good for people that don't have any medical background it is very uh, simple writing because it is is a between different illness that cause fever and you get a whole kind of two page of the different kind of fever that you have and the different time that you have um, um, the pattern of the fever because a lot of the tropical disease if you have a different pattern of, of illness it will um, make a difference on what you see so basically uh, that's uh, that's a one good thing about the book um, and so it's very easy read very easy to use uh, it talks a lot about the kind of um, Different, or pretty much almost any medical condition you have, and a lot of uh, non medicine treatment. So, that's the other thing, too. A lot of alternative that you can use instead of using antibiotics and stuff, but still not like just on that. He's pretty good on because uh, I think he is, a, he is a physician as well, so he is still believe in um, what's what we call Western medicine. So, he still say there's time for pills, but there's other times that you don't need pills. And, and for people that kind of have access to pills sometime, uh, I mean, if you don't have like a license as a doctor or whatever, um, it's harder to get like antibiotics and everything. So there's sometimes other stuff that you can do um, before giving medication. So those are the three books that I kind of recommend um, if you want to start your little, uh, little library on uh, wilderness medicine.